What is going on guys? Today we are here with NBA 2K24. So if you wanted to change your music, you wanted to take off some songs, you wanted to take all the songs off, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So obviously normally you'd go into your settings and you'd go normally all the way down and you'd find your music. So this again is another great one that you can go down. You've got your commentary volume, PA volume, sound effects, crowd, player chatter, something different. And then obviously the main ones that you want to kind of look at is going to be 2K Beats Music Menu or Menu Music, as well as then the 2K TV Menu. You can obviously get rid of that if you don't necessarily want to have the music blaring. That is, again, just all down to your what you personally prefer. Again, it depends on what you kind of want to play the game with. I personally play with just predominantly the normal sound because when it comes to music, copyright, all of that jazz. But... That isn't the only thing. You can just turn the music down. If obviously you wanted it on a little bit of a lower one, so you still want to hear a little bit of the music, you can actually pick a specific song request as well. So if you go back out of the settings, you can go all the way down to the 2K beats. This is going to give you all of the songs that are shuffling on the soundtrack. So say you've only got one, two favorite songs that you want from it, you can actually pick a specific song. So for instance, you can either add a playlist. So if you wanted to go specifically through a, a Def Jam, obviously the soundtrack, you've got them, but also you can add to a playlist that will add my playlist. So say I just like one up, that is all I like. You can repeat it if you really wanted to, or obviously add a few more. Say, for instance, we want Rick Ross in there as well. You can add that one in, and you can just design that specific one so you can play from there. Obviously, RBLB is shuffle or normal, depending on how many songs you've got in there. But if you wanted to get rid of some songs, if you see on the bottom, you can disable all tracks, which is a simple left stick in. I'm not too sure on PC, but I can imagine uh, Xbox and PlayStation are the same. But say, for instance, I've just got... Random Beast uh, with My Time. I don't really like it. It's not my favorite one. If we wanted to disable that specific one, instead of having to do them all, you could press X to disable that track, and it means that one won't play. Again, another great way to do this if you have some nice ones from both that you want to go with. Again, the Y to put it into my uh, playlist is going to be the best course of action. Just pray and press A and let the play song. Let the song play. That is how you do it. Let me know if this helped. I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.